There is real concern at NASA tonight about a huge chunk of Chinese space junk that could be on top of us before long. Correspondent Phil Keating has details tonight from Miami. Good evening, Phil. Good evening, Brett. Another Chinese spent rocket actually plummeted out of control just last year, raining debris and damaging some buildings in the African nation of Ivory Coast. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. But as far as space junk goes, and there's a lot of it up above us, this one is enormous. It weighs 21 tons. The core rocket stage is circling Earth out of control and could fall somewhere within the next several days, possibly as soon as this weekend or Monday. The big rocket blasted off last Wednesday from South China. It's one of 10 more planned launches, all of it for China's ambition to build its own Chinese space station. It was a completely successful launch, but the size of the long March 5 core stage rocket, about 100 feet long and 16 feet wide, is far larger than the usual piece of discarded rocket debris, which usually just burns up in Earth's atmosphere upon descent. We don't know where it's going to land. It could land anywhere as far north as New York City and as far south as New Zealand. But anything in that band would be fair game. According to the Defense Department, U.S. Space Command is actually tracking the rocket from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California, but says its exact entry point won't be pinpointed until hours within its reentry. There are two more launches scheduled from China in the coming weeks and will send cargo and three astronauts to the core module, which is about the size of a five-story building. This is graphic animation of the final Chinese space station product, which is going to end up being about a quarter of the size of our current International Space Station. Now, since most of our planet is ocean, 71 percent, it is likely that any pieces that don't burn through the atmosphere but came out, come on down to Earth could splash down in one of our oceans. But there is the threat that large pieces could, like last year, rain down on inhabited areas. Brett, I'm sure you remember 1979 Skylab parties where everybody wore their helmets, I would recommend you get yours. All right, I'll be looking <laughs> up. Uh, Phil, thanks.